Let's fight! 
hours. I think I'm finally getting the hang of cooking without testing the taste. You know, I've always thought you were a really good cook, Velvet. It's not so hard. All you have to do is follow the recipe. After my sister died, I always did the cooking. The most important thing is adding just the right amount of salt, and the final adjustments of flavor. Oh, and once you're just about done, you have to make a wish that it turns out tasty. You wish for flavor? Yeah. So long as you do that, anything will turn out tasting good. Salika taught me that. It sounds like your sister was quite the master chef. Oh, I don't know about that. But now I'll never be her match. I've lost my taste, sure. But I've also forgotten what it even feels like to taste something delicious. What I make isn't really food. It's merely sustenance. I don't think that's true, Velvet. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is great! You're a fine chef, Velvet. I just remembered something my sister said. She always wished for our food to taste good, because she wanted to see us happy when we ate it. Oh? <laughs> And she said I ate like a pig, too. I... I don't think you do. It's a good thing. You should eat a lot, too, so you can grow up big and strong. Lafayette said apologize for losing your temper. Oh, sorry. Come on, let the boy try to act tough. an odd thing to hang in the sky. 
Wasn't Inominat's vessel supposed to be the Earth? Well, stereotypically at least, gods tend to have a pension for high places. Gods and other things. And other things? You mean birds? I'm talking about people like you. Birds. Birds fly because they must. Luffy said that a long time ago. That must be the answer Artorius was looking for. And yet, is it my answer? Oh. Wow, look at how high up we are, and how round the world is. So, the world is round. How did you not know that already? The horizon at sea has always been curved like this. Right. That's why you always see the masthead of an approaching ship first when it comes over the horizon. Give you to a site like this and you're still unimpressed. And you're gawking at the sights in our enemy's lair. Hmm. The energy's in this place. Yes. It's just as I'd expected. What is? I know what this temple is made of. It's crystallized energy drawn and condensed from the Earth Pulse by Inominat himself. To put it another way, this place is the Empyrean Inominat's body. You mean... We just dove straight into Inominat's belly? If you knew that, then why? I warned you, didn't I? Now quit making such a racket in the enemy's lair. You're right. Actually, it's not that different from the Earth Pulse when you think about it. Besides, if we want to defeat Inominat, then coming in here is our only option, no matter how tremendous his power. If we can destroy his heart, he can be killed. Yep. But in this case, the heart is Inominat's true body and Shepard Artorius himself. We might be the ones who get destroyed. This is not news, Magilu. It's too late to get scared now. You're fighting the Reaper! Any pity or compassion from me? Let's go. Okay. 